difference and difference. So event study is very useful to study how the return changes due to certain event. Uh, the reason why uh, is good because uh, from the uh, factor model, we know how to model what returns should be when the market is efficient or in the absence of event. So we can calculate the hypothetical event using a uh, factor model idea. But however, uh, the price or return, we don't have such a model. Say the measurement of liquidity, measurement of trading volume, bid or spread. We don't have what we call the normal trading volume. We don't have such thing. So, uh, or liquidity, how they change. So what we need to do is we need to have a much more advanced technique. We call difference, different technique requires to construct uh, a comparison group in order to know the impact of event. So um, we consider the simplest case, we have single treatment and we have two different groups, control group and treatment group. Treatment group is the event or treatment that affects the group and control group that is the group that doesn't have a treatment. The treatment has treatment group and the group control group doesn't have a treatment. And uh, we want to observe uh, how the two groups behave here before after event. You know that the main assumption here is we assume, uh, or it has to be shown, and that before the treatment, that not too much uh, different between the control group and treatment group. In the literature, this is called parallel trend so assumption. So we need to try to see or convince other they're similar. And then you can continue to do this uh, analysis. So now we know there's a treatment control group and a treatment group. So how we do uh, the analysis. So the control group that the changes, then you capture changes under line environment. And difference in the control group consider has two things. One is treatment effect and the background effect. The background effect is actually captured by the control group. So difference is different, just take the difference of these two to single out or filter out the treatment effect. So the treatment effect will be difference of the treatment group minus difference of the control group. So that's why it's called difference in difference. Now let's look at the famous example in uh, economics. They're trying to study the uh, Minimum wage increase uh, in April 1992. So uh, the treatment group is uh, New Jersey, look at the employment, and the control group will be the Pennsylvania. And because minimum wage law is imposed uh, in New Jersey, so they want to look at two observations. Which is February 1992 and uh, November 1992, so it's before and after. So look at that result. Look at New Jersey. So before is 20.44 and uh, November is 21.03. So the unit of this uh, is a uh, number of full time employee. So the changes actually, when you have minimum wage increase, uh, actually looks increasing. Which is a little bit surprising because we know that for microeconomics, uh, minimum wage increase would actually reduce employment. But you can see 0.59 is not markedly different. So maybe just due to uh, economic doing better or not. We don't know because that it contains both treatment effect and background effect. So let's compare that in Pennsylvania, which is nearby New Jersey, just close to it. And you see, you are not after. Actually, the employment goes down, and indeed, in 1992, in the U.S. economy, is a recession. So, look at the difference. Actually, New Jersey actually has a uh, 2.75 difference, so it's more than 10 percent of employment, which is huge. So, it looks like and this is a little controversial because it go against what we assume, what we learn in uh, our. Uh, first class of microeconomics. 
So let's look at a more general model. So suppose we have a observation SD S equal to two is treatment group, one is control group. Uh, before is one for T and after is two. So uh, the treatment before is two Y two one. Uh, before control is Y one one. Pose is uh, Y two two for treatment. Uh, y one two for control. So uh, look at uh, the difference between treatment group and control group. The difference is Y two one minus Y one one for pre, and Y two two minus Y one two for pose. The change is the difference between the same group before uh, post minus pre. Say for treatment group is Y two two minus Y two one. For control is Y one two minus Y one one. And you take the difference between changes or difference between the difference. You have the same thing as y two two minus y one two minus y two one minus y one one. Okay, so this is a general model. So uh, sometimes it's not easy to have this because we usually have more than one observation over time. So usually we we'll do a handle regression approach. So what you do is uh, the, in de the dependent variable is the variable interest y, what we want to measure. And we run a regression on several dummies. So it's a dummy for treatment with coefficient beta 1, which is uh, when the treatment group is 1, non trim control group is 0. And there's a post dummy, depending on time. So it's whenever it's after treatment, will be equal to 1 before is 0 and we have a intersection interaction between the uh, treatment and pose which is beta 3 and beta 3 is indeed the variable interest we're interested in whether this is positive or negative because this said after event what the treatment group uh, affect how it affect so we'll be captured by beta 3 now we're going to explain why beta 3 is the one determinant group. So look at the math again. So if um, look at the equation, so consider the case where y11, which is the, the case where is uh, before the treatment for the control group. Okay. So treat is 0, pose is 0. So all you have is beta 0. So that's why y11 is 0. And y12, right, is uh, for the treatment group control group pose. So its treat is 0, and uh, pose is 1. So you have beta 0 plus beta 2, so it's y12. So y21 is the uh, treatment group before treatment. So you have treat equal to 1, pose equal to 0, so it's beta 0 plus beta 1. The last thing is the treatment group after treatment, so everything is 1, so you have beta 2 plus beta, plus beta 1 plus beta 2 plus beta 3, okay? So this is x ray value, so that's why we don't have epsilon. And we try to back down what is beta 1, beta 2, beta 3. So beta 0, of course, is y11, and beta 1 will be equal to y21 minus y11, okay? And beta 2, you can easily see, is uh, y12 minus y11. And beta 3 uh, will be equal to this expression, which is different in difference. So sometimes we do this regression, but sometimes we do it very wrong. We just do, uh, we take a difference of the control group and treatment group, which is y2 t minus y one t this is the difference between the control group and treatment group as it, as a dependent variable and we just uh, regress it over the whole dummy so here we don't have treatment because uh, uh, we don't have we don't have this dummy so we want to estimate beta one only